One thing that I hear from guys so often is that, Trey, it is hard to dress in the summertime. It is just difficult. I don't know exactly what outfits to put together. I don't want to sweat to death. I want to look good when I go out on a date, but I don't exactly know what, where to get clothes from, what to pair them with. Don't even worry about it because I got you today on the channel. We're going to talk about a five-step plan to looking your best this summer. What is going on, guys? If you're new here, my name is Trey Bryant, and I am here to help you become a better man overall, help you with your style, your grooming, your looks, your communication to help you feel more confident in the best version of yourself. If you guys are also new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join our community with guys who are achieving and striving to do the same thing, to be the best them each and every day. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram and TikTok, make sure you hit that follow button and follow me at Trey Bryant Style. All right, so step one in the process of looking your best and feeling your best this summer when it comes to your style is choosing lighter colors and lighter fabrics when it comes to putting together your outfit. Step one is choosing what kind of outfit you wanna wear. So let's take the outfit that I have on today right now. I have on a simple polo and trousers. Now this is a little bit more for a fancy dinner, a date, or anything like that, or even brunch. But when it comes to the shirt that I have on, you wanna make sure that the fabrics are on point. You wanna make sure that they're breathable and they're light. Breathable fabrics can be anywhere from cotton, they can be from linen. These are easy to wear during the summertime and they're breathable so you don't sweat a lot in them. This is really important when choosing your outfit based on where you live. I know for people who may live in Texas, who may live in Florida, or other hot countries that live outside of the US, these are really important because I know it can get really hot there. I live in Georgia and it gets really hot here, so wearing breathable fabrics is ideal here. Now in that same point, you wanna make sure that you wear lighter colors. Now I know we all can wear black during the summertime and that's always gonna be a good look to wear black year round, but during this time you wanna make sure that you focus on trying to wear lighter colors. Colors that are a little bit more vibrant, a little bit lighter, because I'm gonna be honest with you, during the warmer months of the year, if you continue to wear darker colors, darker colors sometimes can be a little bit heavier and they absorb a lot of heat. Wearing lighter colors can be more breathable and they actually reflect that heat and make you more cooler. This is overall why you see that people are wearing more vibrant and more colorful outfits during the summertime. But if you're not a vibrant or colorful outfit wearing guy, I understand that. Going with your neutrals, such as a lighter brown, you don't have to go with maybe a chocolate brown, but maybe you can go with a taupe, which is a lighter brown, or more of a lighter tan or cream. Another thing about this that you can do, and this is easy to pair with a lot of outfits, is this is white pants. White trousers, white pants, I'm a huge fan of, and they elevate an outfit, and they're perfect for this time of year. Next up on number two, we have something that's a little bit different that they may not tell you on every style channel, but during the summertime, I think it's really best to shave your unwanted body hair. Yes, I know that's a little bit hard to hear, but shaving your unwanted body hair is gonna help you sweat less, man. Coming from a guy who does sweat a lot myself, I do trim and shave my armpit hair during the summertime just so I don't sweat as much. It's already blazing hot outside. You don't wanna be in a situation where you're just sweating through all of your clothes. Let me tell you a quick story. My mom can attest to this. Mom, comment if you see this, but I used to sweat so hard through so many of my button down shirts when I had to go to work sometimes that my mom would see stains in them all the time. This is coming from a true person who sweats a lot. So it's good to maybe get rid of that unwanted body hair. That way your grooming is on point during the summertime. You feel a little bit more confident and you're not sweating as much. So I would just say, take care of that stomach hair, take care of maybe some of that chest hair and your underarm hair. This is gonna make you feel a little bit more freeing. I'm not saying you have to go totally bare, get rid of all your body hair looking like a dolphin. But what I'm saying is this is gonna help you not sweat as much and feel better when you wear your outfits during the summertime, especially when it comes to not staining or you sweating through them. This leads me into number three. And number three is get a good smelling deodorant. Deodorant is very important and vital to you smelling your best, but also not staining your clothes. There's some deodorants out there, especially ones that I use that prevented me from staining my clothes. And I'm not talking about your ax, I'm talking about Degree. Degree is just what I use. This is not sponsored by them, but this is just something that I use that really has helped me not stain my clothes, sweat less, and just feel more confident about what I'm wearing when I walk out of the door, especially when I'm on vacation because you know when you're at the beach and you're in some of those hot places, you're just going to sweat and it's inevitable. But sweating through an outfit that you like when you're going from, let's say, brunch to an outside activity during the afternoon, these things are important that you want to make sure through all situations you smell good and feel good. Getting a nice antiperspirant deodorant is going to help your pores not sweat so much. I know that some people are in 
against antiperspirant deodorant and some people are with it. In my personal opinion, I think that antiperspirant deodorant works best, especially for fellas that sweat a lot. Next on number four is something that I talked about in one of my previous videos. And you guys were like, you really weren't feeling it quite yet. And I can understand that it's a little bit something to work up to, but that is wearing jewelry. During the summertime, I think it's very vital to wear jewelry with your outfits. Because number one, you can't layer as much, but you still can layer. And we can talk about this more on another video about layering during the summertime. But wearing jewelry is going to elevate an outfit. When it comes to not wearing it and wearing it, there's a big difference in it, right? And this doesn't mean you have to over accessorize and do the most. But I mean, with simple accessories, even like what I'm wearing right now, a simple bracelet, definitely a watch to complete the outfit, and definitely chains. I think some chains or some necklaces, whether it's a pendant necklace, whether it's a stacked chain, because you know, stacked chains are my personal favorite. I think that these are gonna easily elevate a t-shirt, a button down, if you decide to wear. And you have that open real estate on your chest, especially when it comes to the necklaces or chains. And it's cool to layer something right there. It's cool to put something right there. It kind of just takes an outfit from looking just regular to more elevated, to more stylish. I can be honest with you, I really caught on to jewelry more so in the last, I would say five years. I think the simplest thing I probably wore was a watch just because I've always been a watch guy. But when it comes to a bracelet, when it comes to necklaces, I think this is the next level that people can really appreciate. It's small, subtle details that really make an outfit stand out. And on number five, this right here is very important to looking and feeling your best during the summertime, and that is having a light fragrance. Now, as you move through the seasons, I know we talk about what type of fragrance that is good to wear to get compliments, what type of fragrance is good to be able to, you know, get dates and what you would wear on a date for date night. But when it gets into the uh, warmer months of the year, spring and summer, I think a light fragrance that's citrusy, that smells good, that smells fresh and makes people feel good when they smell you around them is going to be perfect for this time of year and perfect to go and pair well with a outfit such as a breathable fabric like we talked about earlier, a nice cotton polo, a nice button down to go with that linen breathable fabric. Now one important point when it comes to putting on that light fragrance, I really do truly think that you want to make sure that your skin is very moisturized during the summertime. Now this is really important for not only just making sure that your fragrance lasts longer for one, two, making sure that your skin feels good and that that fragrance is actually working through your skin and it's actually lasting longer throughout the day because when you sweat and your skin is not moisturized, it's dry, it's not gonna look good. You're also gonna be a little bit ashy if you're not putting on lotion on your body, which is extremely important. But just making sure that you're moisturized and then adding that light fragrance to your outfit. And guys, that is the five steps right there to looking your best this summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you a better plan of how to look your best this summer. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button telling YouTube that you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.